Hey friends, coming to you from, I'm doing my little makeshift office, which is AKA Ella's room. Today is Everett's first day of daycare. I dropped him off two hours ago and I still have not received a call. So I'm praying that no news is good news and that he is doing really well. If you're not sure why I'm so anxious about him starting daycare, it's because we had a really, really, really tough experience sending Ella to daycare. She was three. We took her for her first day. She was screaming when we dropped her off and they called us within 45 minutes to pick her up. And that's when we started our autism journey with Elle. That was really what inspired the change. We knew she was speech delayed. We knew there was something going on. I had been re repeatedly told by doctors, you know, stop Googling, she'll talk when she's ready. And I'm like, okay, well, she's three and she's not saying anything. So it's just, it's bittersweet because he's my last baby and our time together has come to an end and he's I hope doing well today I'm just anxious so I'm sitting here at the house I already took my new Vita, which I will always have linked down below um, the CBD that I take I took two gummies this is just like the oil version of it um, I already took two gummies and I'm feeling a little less anxious as far as panic attacky it's all very triggering, um, especially because it's the same school, different director, and it's the best school that, it's the best school, the best daycare in the area, the very best. And I know he's in great hands, but he's not in my hands. So it's very hard for me today as a mama to like let go of control and just hope for the best and pray for the best. And I will keep you guys updated on how he's doing. Um, I also wanted to give you a quick weigh in since I have not taken Moonjaro. And I weighed in this morning at 278. I think it was like 0.6 or something like that with my shoes on because I don't have a pedicure and they're rough. Hold on, I just got an update from the school. Hold on. Okay, I already feel better. He's doing really good. I remember this feeling when Ella started ABA therapy because after daycare, we got we went through the diagnosis process. It took a year. Um, when she got her diagnosis, we started ABA clinic, ABA, and she started her first day at Bass. And I remember that day so clearly because I had a freedom I've never felt before. Ella's home today, obviously, because it's summer break and she doesn't start camp until next week. So we still have a kiddo home, but she's 10 and she's chilling. She's eating eggs and bacon right now, living her best life without her little brother annoying her. But there's this just sense of like, this is, it's time for him to grow up. It's just time. Anyway, he's doing good. Um, I lost, I was 281 the week before. So 78, 79, 80, like three pounds, which is great. I am at a calorie deficit. I'm eating about 2000 calories a day, sometimes a little over, sometimes a little under. My appetite hasn't fully come back yet. I haven't taken a Moonjaro shot in two weeks now and my appetite is still suppressed. Um, I don't know if my metabolism is just different or if it's because I'm so busy, I'm not thinking about food constantly or because of the habits I've, you know, and my period's about to start. So it's really weird that I don't have crazy cravings yet. Um, I have not gained any weight back. I've lost weight still, which is a really good thing. And thank you guys so much all for your advice on like how to get the shot and all of that. Um, I actually think I can get the shot refilled. I think it was a pharmacy issue. So if I do come across any issues, I may be able to actually get it filled. Um, sometimes when you talk to certain pharmacists, there's some of them will, you know, use the Munjaro card and some of them won't. Um, I think I may have gotten one that just didn't want to do it. So I, um, but so far I'm feeling good and I've just had the nervous poops today, if I'm being completely honest. I've been so nervous all freaking day. So nervous, so nervous yesterday, but physically I feel awesome. Please just tell me it's gonna be okay. <laughs> He's only going half a day. I'm picking him up at 12.30, so it's not a huge crazy thing, but I also am just, I don't know. It's such a weird feeling not having him home with me. <laughs> He's gonna do great. He's already doing really good. Um, Ella lasted 45 minutes and he's already a couple hours in and doing well. So that is very, very comforting. And his teacher is awesome. She's so sweet and patient. And preschool teachers, I was one for many, 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 many years. And I loved it and I loved all the kids. Um, but you always got that one kid who's like a runner and 
you know, a little crazy. And I think that's my kid. <laughs> I think so. We'll see. But we're into a new phase of life. I remember that what I was going to say is I remember this phase of life when Ella started at Bass. Um, I started boxing four days a week back then. And that's when I started keto and I lost a bunch of weight on keto. We all know how that ended up. I like gained it all back and then some, and then I got pregnant and then there was a pandemic and all of these things. And I didn't do like the mental work that I needed to do during that time because it was just a different time of my life. And I didn't have access to all of the resources that I do now. And I truly feel like I'm good. Like I'm really good and everything is gonna work out the way it's meant to work out. Just pray for me today, guys. Pray for me that I have you know, I don't know, just that I feel comfort knowing that he's okay. Oh, it's so emotional. So I'm going to get back to cleaning because that's, that's really fun. That keeps my mind busy. And I'm thinking on his next day of preschool, which is Wednesday, maybe I'll go to the beach with Ella, just her and I. Um, take a day. I don't know. I've just been kind of waiting by my phone anxiously. So I'm gonna get back to life. Uh, if you guys have any questions, let me know down below. Like I said, if you have any questions about the CBD, um, you can also leave those down below. It's been a literally life changing experience for me. My dad started taking it a couple nights ago and he slept like the deceased. It's the best sleep you'll ever get in your entire life. And the daytime CBD is just the anxiety relief I truly needed today. So I'm going to head off here. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you guys in the next video.